Potatoes. Hey, if it's the first time you're visiting the channel, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell also so you know whenever we post new videos. Thanks for being here today. And today we're going to be doing potato balls. And we already have a recipe. But we will be redoing our old recipes from when we just started. So this is one of them. And for this recipe too, we're going to be doing a quick butter. In the old recipe, we had one of those butters that you mix separately and then you coat the potato ball with it. But this one here is a simple kind of a slurry butter, which is faster and easy. So that's going to be different about this recipe. So for the ingredients, guys, we have uh, the potatoes and those uh, two cloves of garlic, the pepper and the broadleaf thyme or pudina. Those are going together. That's going to flavor. That's going to season the potatoes. And our left, we have some flour in the bowl, which is we're going to make our, our coating with, or a thin coating. We have the scallion, one uh, clove of garlic, pepper to taste. Pepper is, of course, optional. And that's yellow food coloring there. And we have some roasted ground jira and salt. And that's all we're going to be needing for this recipe, guys. So let's get right into this recipe, guys. So first things first, we're going to peel our potatoes. Alright, so you want to cut your potatoes in little smaller pieces like this so they boil very quickly. So in the meantime we are peeling our potatoes. We have put some water to heat up here to boil the potatoes in. So all done. That's all three potatoes there. Alright, so we're gonna add our potatoes in here to boil now. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt to boil the potatoes with. So we're gonna cover this and let it boil and we're gonna go work on our other stuff that we need to work on. Alright, so our potatoes are ready to boil, so we're going to show you, you can't boil these too soft, so we're going to show you how they are, how soft they should be boiled. You see that? So that's how soft they should be boiled. Alright, so we're going to take these out. So while these potatoes are still hot, we're going to go ahead and mash these. It'll be a lot easier that way. And a nice old masher will do the job. So potatoes is one of those go-to snacks guys when you're in the streets of Guyana you find these everywhere. Potato balls, egg balls, cassava balls. With some mango sour. And the cane juice, even better yet. So now we have half our potato mash. We're gonna now put this aside to cool because once you're when you're mixing it, you want it to be a bit cool. And in that time, we're gonna cut up our stuff. So that's our garlic. So as uh, usual, we're gonna pound these because it's going into the potato. So you want this to be as fine as possible and the best way to do that is to pound it in this mortar. You can also blend it. So our stuff is ground in the mortar there already. So now we're going to begin mixing our potato. So that's some roasted ground jeera. So that's about a teaspoon and a quarter. Salt to taste. So we've now added the ground stuff. Yeah, so now we're gonna add one, about a half a teaspoon of margarine. So you're going to mix this well now, make sure it's mixed properly. Everything is incorporated with your potatoes. So 
So once you're finished mixing this guys, you can taste this and see if you need to adjust anything, if you need any more salt or whatever. But this is fine, we taste this, this is fine. So now you're gonna make your balls. So that's the rolling technique, see that? So we finished rolling off our potato balls guys. Uh, we got, look at how many we got here, look. We made them very small and uh, we got 29 of these. So. That should be enough to go around. What do you say? So we're gonna couple in our other stuff to make our coating now. So we're using one clove of garlic for this. And one pepper, which is optional, of course. And one stem of scallion. So that's our flour we're gonna add there for our coating. So the taste. So now we're gonna add some yellow food color. And that's our blended stuff that we just blended. So for this mixture it needs to be as smooth as possible because it's a coating so that's why we blended the stuff for this one. So our mixture is now ready guys and this is how thick you want it or how thin. Alright so that's ready so we're gonna heat up our oil and we're gonna begin frying. So our oil is heating up. All right, it's frying time. Our oil is hot, and as you can see, we've set up ourselves so that everything keeps going once we start frying. So that's how easy these ones are guys. You just dump them in there. So these ones are looking scrumptious here already guys, see them? So these are a quick fry guys, as soon as we get brown on the first side you turn it over a little bit and then that's it, it's out. Nothing has to be cooked here. You can even make these a little bigger if you like. I think these ones are a bit on the small side. But you can make yours whatever size you like. And that was the last one guys. Of our scrumptious looking potato balls. Alright guys, so we finished frying and here is our finished product. Our yummy, delicious looking potato balls. We're gonna break into one and show you. And nothing really needs needed to be cooked here, so that's what it is. Looking good. So that's what it is here, guys. Looking very good. So that's our potato balls recipe, guys. The easy way, the easy coating. If you like this recipe, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please click the bell icon also so you get notifications from us whenever we post new videos please remember to turn on notifications on your phone in order to get those notifications as well and as always thanks for watching take care bye